ball valves. They seem to be relatively simple and they are, but there's also some confusion as to how they work, uh, which direction is on, which direction is off. So we'll take a little bit further look into how ball valves work. So here we have different types of ball valves. You can see different colors, different types of material, but they really are all ball valves. So this one here um, is just a PVC. You can see at the top where it says OC for open or closed. You can see the size of the ball valve on there as well, three quarter inch. This one is uh, also a PVC. This one says S for shut or O for open. So that one you can tell which direction is which. This one is a brass ball valve. You'll see this on backflows or other areas that uh, use copper or maybe even PEX. This is a T handle. You can see why it's called a T handle now. And this one here is also another type of ball valve. This one has a single handle, but it also says on off on it. So this one's pretty easy, but not all of them have that. So why do they call them ball valves? So here is what one of those ball valves looks like from a brass ball valve. It has uh, indentation here that's on the bottom and then a slot here that's on the top. This is where the handle fits into it. So when you open it, this is how it looks. When you close it, it rotates like that, shuts it off. And you can see a nice shiny ball valve there. This brass ball valve works the same way. It is open, being that it would be parallel with the pipe. When it is shut, you can see there's a silver ball in there. You need to open it. There you go. This one is a single handle. You can see on off, so it would be running parallel with the pipe. You turn it, now it's off. You can see that it's off now. One thing that happens with these, and you can see it here, is there are seals inside around where the ball rotates. This seal has frozen and popped out of place. I also know that it's frozen because it shows a crack here. So this one I uh, took out and fixed it, but um, there are seals inside and sometimes those go bad or these can freeze as well. So here's the backflow. These are ball valves. And even with these test ports, these are little ball valves, miniature ones you could say. So when the handle is parallel with the pipe, no matter the direction of the pipe, when it's parallel, that means it's on. When you turn it perpendicular, like this, that means it's off. And with these test ports, they're miniature ball valves. So when they're perpendicular to the flow here, they're off. When you turn them parallel, they're on. These stay off normally. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about ball valves. They're pretty simple, but very common and very useful.